Hello everyone, my name is Rickster Games, and once again we are going to be making a Five Nights at Freddy's game in Game Maker. So, I've just quickly made some last minute sprites like 1 at 6 a.m. Please just ignore that, I had fun. Um, and the time, where it says 12 a.m., 1 a.m., 2 a.m., etc. Um, and I also added the mask, because that's going to be our method to protect ourselves. And the little object called S Nothing, which is just a 32 by 32 sprite with um, an opacity of 1. It'll be useful, trust me. It's like one of the most important things. So now, we are actually going to be starting the program. So I normally always start with the um, main menu object. Yeah, I actually just leave the death as one. Um, I might not add sounds, but uh, I might add a few actually. Might as well. Just a few sounds. There aren't that many good ones right here. Um, well, I think they're all in um, FNAF 3 Jimmy, if I'm not, if I'm correct. Let's see, so, there's a T, title music, there we go. Great, title music, loop, true. Uh, no, not yet, whatever. Yep, um, now we need the O static, which is negative one. Um, and then new game. Where to put new game? There we go. Could put that as negative two. Little game. Yep, yeah, also negative two. Yeah. Okay. So left pressed new game, go to next room and left press load game load I don't know. I'm just gonna call it whatever. Yeah. Okay, now we can start constructing our main menu. This only takes second. There's a static. Oh uh, yeah, we um also need um the menu overlay, the one, the sprite that has the title. So again, I'm gonna put that as negative three. Perfect. And just to keep everything organized, we're gonna put that in the um menu folder. Oh, well, men menu zero, whatever. Just so that it's easy to find all the sprites. So there we go. I'm only gonna make one night of this game just so that I don't waste your time. There, just put new game there. Load game there. And that should be it. There. That's our main menu. I might um maybe add um a six night. Like, there won't be all five nights, I'm just going to show you how you can make another night. Like, by typing in the code on the main menu, which is what I use in my games, since I can't really make it so that when you launch the game, it, like, loads your previous save. I'm, I'm not that advanced, I've only been using this for, um, two years. Which does seem like a lot, but I'm just, I don't know how to do that yet. Which is stupid, but, you know. Anyway, we are going to start with, um... Yeah, we need the. I don't want a new. Uh, whatever. Yeah. Let's just call it HUD. Whatever. Um, we need um, a new object. No. There. Put it in there. This is going to be the newspaper. Now, what we're going to do is when you press enter, it'll go to the next room. But also, we, know, so we want it so that after a while, 
um, it goes down. So we're going to create a new variable. We're going to call it news for now. So um, step, paste that here. Um, value plus one and put it to relative. And then end step. If news is let's say equal to um, there's not a lot of rates, so 300. If it's greater than or equal to 300, start block and end of a block when you can find in control. Um, go to next room. There, simple. Also, when that happens, stop sound menu. Perfect. Okay, now we have our next room. Who knows if we're quick enough, we might be able to get a decent part of this done. There, there's our lovely newspaper. Uh, okay, we're actually going to start on the, um, the night. First, we're going to create the office. Now, I've never watched any other tutorials for how to um, do Fun It's Freddy's games, as I've said. So, if someone else does it differently and it's more efficient, I'm sorry, but this is just the way that I do it. I find it easy. No, I do not want that. Here's our beautiful, beautiful office. It's about that big. It's not that bad. Cool. Also, is that Freddy? Is that like, um... I think this is a screen before you get jump scared by Freddy, I think, actually. Oh, well, doesn't matter. So, there is night one. Um, we're going to put... Um, yeah, I might as well. I'm going to start programming the time. Um, I created all these sprites, as I said. Um, here. So, create. I'm going to make a variable. It's called time. Copy that. Then step. Put no, not news. Um, what was it called? Just time. Is that about no? I might copy, not paste. There. Time. Put it to relative. And step. Keep time. I'm gonna make the night short, so a thousand. And that's pretty much half the time of uh, normal Five Nights at Toy Freddy's night, because each um each um hour is two hundred uh, two thousand ticks, which is um not, not that long. It's about maybe eight minutes a night, which actually is kind of long, but um, at least the game lasts longer. So when time is equal to that, we're gonna change the sprite to one a.m. And then you just gotta keep doing this. We're gonna add in another thousand. And change the sprite back to 2 a.m. And that's basically all you gotta do. I'm gonna I'm gonna skip ahead so that you don't have to watch all this boring stuff. So we'll see you in a minute. Okay, guys, I'm back and I have finished the whole script. Um, I'm just gonna let you. Look at that to make sure you got everything right. Though you may change the time. So when it's 6 a.m. you want to go to the next room. Which um, the next room will be like the 6 a.m. thing. And then that'll turn into, that'll go to the night two room. So each night is a different room basically. If you're from um, Quick Team, um, I think there's like um, frames. And frames are basically rooms, if you're familiar with um, Click Team Fusion, which I don't use, so I'm not that good at it. So that, that's uh, that's why I use Game Maker. I would use Click Team, but I don't really want to because I prefer Game Maker. I'd rather learn one thing first. So anyway, we may as well place that in our room. Yes, just at the top. Wait. Like, Let's change that to 16 by 16. There. That'll work. Just put it there. That's it. Okay. Uh, I also remembered that I need another spray. Hold on a second. I need that. 
that little bar that you put your mouse over to um, activate the camera. Hold on a second. No, I do not need it that big. Uh, about, about that. That'll work. So fill the opacity to one. No, I would like white, please. There. And with a badly drawn arrow. There. Perfect. You may be wondering why there's this big chunk here. That's so, like in my previous Five Nights at Freddy's games, when you put your mouse down here to activate the camera, when you put your mouse back up, um, it would close the camera again. So this is so that your mouse is still on it. So when you take it off, it doesn't process that you're um, going to quit the camera. Because you wouldn't put your mouse over the quit camera. Anyway, um, so I'm going to start that. Oh, activate the camera. I think I got I gotta wrap this up in like three minutes three minutes. I don't think I'll do a part four tonight. I might, but I'm not quite sure, so don't count on it. There we go. Where should we put that? Yeah, let's see about up there. Yeah, yeah, that'll work. That'll do. That'll do, Donkey. That'll do. Okay, now we need to make the office move. So, I'm thinking of all these sprites I keep forgetting. Um, actually, no, we don't need to make another sprite, actually. No. We're going to use the S nothing sprite. So, in order to make our office move, first we need um, a solid. Um, no, I'm not going to call it a solid. Um, Office stop. Let's just call it oh, office stop. Why not? Uh, make it solid. Same depth as that is the office. So now we're gonna place that object here. This is what's gonna be used to stop the office from going anywhere, like leaving the room, basically. Okay. So now I we'll want to drag that there. About, yeah, about there. So that you can see the other side. I'm not going to program Toy Freddy coming from both sides. Uh, this is just an example, so. There. And now, we're going to create another object called O Office Move Left. We're gonna use the R O S S nothing sprite. Um, set the depth to negative five, and we're gonna make O office move right there. I'm gonna try and get this done as quickly as possible so that we can get our office moving by the end of the by the end of the video, which isn't too long away. So I don't think we'll be able to. We might. So, it's pretty because I only got a minute. Okay. I'm gonna speed this up. Speed, speed up. Okay, so when mouse enter, make the office move that way at a speed of like 10, I guess 10 for object O office. That's right. And then when mouse leave, make make it stop. For O office, and then do the same for that. Now center. No, 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 no. Uh, I think I gotta end it here, guys. Um, try to get this done. But while I do that, I'm just gonna say thank you all so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed the video, um, please leave a like. Um, and that's pretty much it. Just do what we did for the other object. So see you guys later.